It's Kirk Harnack and Hans von Zutphen. Hey, Hans. Hi. Uh, we're at the uh, IBC 2016 in Amsterdam, and Omnia introduced a brand new product. Well, it's not new to you, you've been working on it. Yeah. We introduced a brand new product today, here at the first day of IBC, and it's called Omnia SST. Yeah. Yes, true. And it's pretty, it's purple and gray and yellow, and what is it? It's an uh, FM processor in software, which uh, contains a lot of extra features. Uh, like uh, it has a lot of repair uh, features, it can repair uh, MP3 files so that they sound less MP3-ish. Is, is that the delossifier that yes, I saw? Yes. Oh my, so this has a function called delossifier. Yes. That's amazing. That's I, I've been dreaming about, because you know MP3, yeah, they can have a little bit of artifacts and this attempts to fix that. Yeah. Yes, mainly the low bit rate ones. Yeah. Then there's the declipper. Right, oh, and you know all about, you're the king of declipping, right, so. That's in a lot of Omnia products already, so people probably already know that. All right. And uh, another new thing in this thing is that it has micro MPX, which does MPX over IP, and that means MPX including RDS, stereo, everything, including peak control, the whole thing, and normally you would need a high bitrate stream for that. Wait, and, and don't say it yet, years ago, Kirk here, the visionary, was thinking about MPX over IP, and I figured 12 megabits per second would really take care of MPX over IP. But not everybody has 12 megabits per second to the transmitter site, so you're talking about MPX over IP at a bit rate of? 320 kilobits. What the what? <laughs> 320 uh, kilobits? I can't make it any less, it's 320. So 320, and, and so you can take the stereo baseband, the MPX signal, yeah. including what, the RDS? Yes. And including the stereo pilot? Yes. And including stereo embedding technology that yes. gets you 1 dB louder? More than 1 dB actually, but yes. Of, of course, more than 1 dB because it's Hans. <laughs> and and uh, you, 2 or 3 probably. And you get this over 320 kilobits per second? Yes. And it doesn't sound like it needs a delossifier at the other end. Uh, no, in fact, the whole algorithm, the whole codec is designed specific specifically for FM. So it does not have any of the traditional FM artifacts, ah. like free ringing, etc. which if you do that on FM, you would get both noise and MP3 artifacts, and that basically gives you the worst of two worlds. You don't want that. So instead, we made a codec that uh, only causes, if anything, it causes white noise which on FM is easily masked by the noise of the FM reception itself. But you don't hear any white noise? No. Okay. Not so, at 320. So, and, and when we, in introducing Omnia SST, we have the component, the processor, all the functions you mentioned at the studio running on uh, a, a computer, could be a dedicated computer. Yes. Now, at the transmitter site, what is running there? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, at this moment, it will also have to be a computer. Yeah. So. But this and this is great for a backup or for a main if you trust the computer. But it would sure. be a Windows computer with Windows, Linux. Oh, it could be a Linux. Yeah, whatever you want. And basically. then you need a sound card that does what 192 kilohertz. Yes. And then the output of this go is your MPX. Yep. And that goes into the transmitter when you're done. Wow. Can be analog, can be digital, whatever your transmitter accepts. Yeah. And so. We're doing a live demo. Oh yeah. Not we're doing. We're, Mary Ann's. Come here. Come here and say this. Mary Ann Seidler's here. Come on in. And we're doing a. We're doing a live demo between here and between here and the Nautel booth. So this isn't just something that we're showing that could work. It is working and it's working here. And it was working at NAB. Well, at NAB we didn't announce it as a product. We announced it as a technology demonstration. Yeah. But Hans, look. The guy hasn't had any sleep since NAB. He's exhausted. Well, I haven't in the last week. That's true. Not much anyway. All right, so you heard it here first. We have Omnia SST, and we'll have information on the website. Is it there now yet? No, it's coming very shortly. Okay, information on the website coming shortly. Pricing coming shortly. Yes, this will be shipping within three weeks. Okay, okay, so look for it this fall from TELUS Alliance. And if you're here at the IBC, come to our booth or come to Nautel, and you can see it. See it, and more importantly, hear it in action. You know, for broadcasters like me, I've got about eight radio stations, eight FMs and one AM, and I'm looking forward to implementing this at first as a backup, and then as I become comfortable with the technology, this could easily be a main, a main STL for me. 
Yeah. And we're looking forward to working with you. Well, thank you. I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to my special pricing. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, no. This is Kirk Harnack along with Marianne Seidler and Hans von Sutphen live at IBC 2016.